Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play American McGee's Alice. I'm Shadefire as always, and this is episode 6 of the level School's Out. Probably should have loaded that up. <laughs> so if you'll remember, uh, at the end of the last level we just found the recipe for a shrinking potion, so now we gotta go, I'm guessing, and collect all the pieces of it. I have no idea what to expect on this level. Uh, banshees, good way to start. Banshees with spinning blue thing. Oh, well, they're gone. Was that homing? Huh. Never noticed that. I guess your cursor locks onto them to show you where the cards are going. We'll have none of that screaming this time. <laughs> Those things have killed me far too many times. Hmm. I guess we'll start with the first floor. Behind door number one. He took far too much stabbing. Ooh. Another statue with Mad Hatter. Odd. Now I'm hoping by playing around with the frame rate settings and fraps, I've fixed the desync problems that were showing up, but I'm not sure if I have or not, so uh, we'll find out by the time this video is posted. Or not posted. Mm, there is a health item up there, but I'm not sure if that's a health up or just a healing item. I know there's a gnome up there too, so I'm guessing we're going to want to get up there. It's a way vortex hole with a bunch of books in it. Very nice. Healing item here, which I don't need, but I got it anyway. The lever. Uh, enter. Enter is such a weird key. I'm so used to just using E. Damn you, Valve, in your standardized action button. I have no idea if Valve started that, but I'm gonna assume they did, because it was in the first Half Life. Actually, just uh, completely break flow here and change the control. <laughs> uh, use, climb up. Will be e. excellent. Primary tag change back to mess one. Um, nothing else uses E, so we're good. It's more convenient. So this made a bunch of bleacher stairs, which we can use to get up here. I hope there's not an element of fall and die. Well, there probably is. Or if I fall in that pit, I just go back to the beginning. Go back. Oh God. <laughs> Completely unnoticed obstacle, or, or we could just fall in, I guess. Come on, else. I have no idea how to make her climb up. I guess it's E, but E's not working. Neither is Enter. Oh God. Well, <laughs> I'm dead. God damn it. So, as we can see, this pit is clearly an actual obstacle, since it will kill you. And also, those lamps are not just there for. Uh, decorative purposes, but we'll actually knock you off into the death pit. I am going to quick save this time, so that we don't have to go all the way back. And this... How fine Ooh. you look when dressed in what? rage. Your what? Are oh, it's one of those rage power-ups. not permanent, and you're lucky too. Red eyes suit so few. Why is there a rage power-up here? There's nothing else here. Probably just wasted that. Gymnasium should be safe. Guards never exercise, can't afford to lose the weight. I never cared for sports at school. I don't have to put on a pinny, do I? No, it wouldn't suit you. I've recalled one of the potion's ingredients. Mushrooms, lovely texture. What's that? Oh. I guess that's why I got... the rage... Oh, God. Why is it gone now? It was there in the cutscene. We can't seem to fly up here, so I can just run out of magic. This is not gonna end well. Oh, also, I found out that these cards are. I've been calling them 52 pickup, but they're actually just called cards. Who would have thunk it? Oh, oh god, he's. Uh, oh, okay, I'm running. <laughs> or I'm dying. That works too, I guess. 
Ugh. Alright, now that we've fallen off again, and not wasted the... I just saw the Cheshire Shadow there. <laughs> He's up there, that's kinda neat. Oh, I hate these fucking things. And now we're out of magic. Great. And once again, the rage power-up is wasted completely. Because I'm not climbing all the way up there. Into the pit with you. Okay. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's probably a different room. We haven't really had to do a lot of this yet, but I guess as is the- oh god, more of them! I really hope these aren't just everywhere for the entire game. These are really fucking annoying. Get out! Get out! Yes, yes, you're a banshee and you scream, I know. Oh yes, the infinite loop of beings. Oh god, his lower half seems to know how to use stairs. It's not both. I have a feeling this is probably going to be a fairly long video. Possibly even broken into two parts. Oh wait, there's another door. Uh, I guess it's this one? Yes, this is not the one I came from. Oh, yes it is. Herpader. I'm not really sure what to say. There's not really much to discuss here. Some diamonds up on the top floor. Just get him out of the way. There, there's still another door I keep forgetting to go through. I'm just not sure which one it is. This one is probably... I have no idea what this one is, but I see a weapon. So I'm going to attempt to get this without dying horribly by quick saving. Alright. Forward. And perfect. I knew that thing would come in handy. Ah, the diabolical dice. A word of caution don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty, and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. So, I guess we have our. Oh, God. Get out of here. Get him, dice. Oh. Great, I'm gonna get fucking killed here. Go get him! One! What, what, what did I summon? Did I summon a door? Go again! Hopefully something better will come out. I just got smoke. Whatever, let's just, <laughs> let's just move on. Alright, dice, time to prove your worth. Why are there so many enemies in here? What? What number is... Th oh, number seven. Roll the dice, or do nothing. Ugh. I have a feeling these dice are not very good. So, moving right along, I'm just gonna go upstairs. Apparently this is just a horrible enemy spawning room. Run away. Fuck. Must get health. Ooh, that was lucky. 
I wish I had that berserk power up. Alright, that seems to be everybody. No thanks to those dice. So, getting the dice makes me kind of think that we probably missed whatever weapon that was in the previous level. If that's the case, I'm just going to go back and get it. Play back up to this point. Because you can't go the whole game without showing off all the weapons. Wouldn't be a... Well, I suppose it would be more of a blind run thing if I just didn't get it for my own failures, but... We're not playing 100% blind, as the first couple episodes demonstrated. What is that black thing? Oh, friendly fire. Excellent. It's the only door on this floor, so... Oh, of course. As soon as I say that, more doors appear. Let's go through this... Up. Oh god, it's a door maze. I hope that guy has not his own health bar, because I really don't want to have to escort him. Also, he can teleport, why doesn't he just do that? You're fortunate I passed by. Meaning what? I was about to say you're lucky to have found me. Look, I found the last ingredient, sugared spice drops. Whenever we meet up, seems I also find a bit more trouble. Seen any jumbo grow about? There's a bit in that flask on the sideboard. You see, we're set. Bring back some poppy blooms and we'll mix up the potion. I thought he said that was the last ingredient. Oh well. There's our mushrooms. And we just kind of did that on our own, but whatever. Some of this. Do I have to put it on the table? Am I just going to infinitely make bubbling sounds? Who knows? This clock looks important. Or interactable, at least. <laughs> 